The Doom franchise has spawned many video games, a few novels, and movies, each of them expanding the lore in their own way. I did a lot of videos focusing on the lore of the video games, and I sometimes mentioned the novels, but one thing I wanted to look at is the Doom comic book from 1996. It's a piece of forgotten history, because it was so rare at the time, limited to being part of a giveaway back in the day. The cover art features the Doom Marine with no helmet, and his armor is similar to the version of the cover on Doom 2. This is because the shoulder pads are different between the two games. The shoulder pads from the comic book resemble what you see in Doom 2. The comic book story itself was a bit over the top and silly. Issue number 1 was titled Knee Deep in the Dead, which is taken from the first Doom game. So let's have a look at the story of the Doom comic book. The story begins by jumping right into the action. The Doom Marine is fighting an imp while using the Berserker Pack. Who's a man and a half? I'm a man and a half. Berserker packing man and a half. There's nothing wrong with you that I can't fix. With my hands. Dynamite. I'm cooking with gas. I've got a handful of vertebrae and a head full of mad. Yeah, that's your spinal cord, baby. Dig it. Who's the man? I'm the man. I'm a bad man. How bad? Real bad. I'm a 12.0 on the 10.0 scale of badness. Don't need a gun. Guns are for wusses. Huh? What's that? What's that? I like what I see. An important looking door. Knock, knock. Who's there? Me. Me, 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 me. He then comes face to face with a cyber demon. But the battle is very short. Cyber demon, big deal. He's slim pickings. Rip and tear. Rip and tear. Rip and tear. Rip and tear your guts. You are huge. That means you have huge guts. Oh, here it comes. Here comes the night train. Bonk. Berserker pack gone. Feelings of invincibility over. Change of plans. I do need a gun. I need a big gun. I need a really big gun. After running off to another room, he's still looking for more guns. And he does find some, but he's got to get them off the zombies first. Gah! Zombies with guns. Not big guns, but they are guns. And I need guns. Ah, Chainsaw, the great communicator. Come here, boys. I got something to say. Allow me to communicate to you my desire to have your guns. Got a gun. Need a bigger gun. Moving right along. Dark. Might makes light. And I feel mighty. Groovy. At this particular moment in time, I don't believe I have a healthier or more deeply felt respect for any object in the universe than this here shotgun. Hey, chain gun, the hell with respect. Gimme, come on, gimme. Hoy hoy, I'm the boy, packing 80 pounds of heavenly joy. Now this is good, big gun, not the big gun, but. Arr! Turn my back. That was stupid. 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 Stupid imp. You're stupid. And you're gonna be stupid. And dead. Dance. Dance, bone daddy. Oh yeah. Yeah. Dig the prowess. The capacity for violence. I'm the man. I'm super bad. Imps? Zombies? You think you can get me? Wait. Maybe they don't think. Well, I do, and I think you're dead. Dead, dead, dead. Lord Almighty, I feel my temperature rising. Huh? What's that? What's that? Woo, baby, I'm burning out of control. Unknown to him, another demon comes behind him 
and tackles our hero into a pit of radioactive waste. He shoots it as he falls, destroying the creature in the process. Bad. Bad monster. Gah. Radioactive waste. Burns. Stinks. Get off, scum. Who do you suppose left all that radioactive waste down there, and why? Why? Now I'm radioactive. That can't be good. Why can't we find a way to safely dispose of radioactive waste and protect the environment? Even if I personally stop this alien invasion, what kind of planet will we be leaving to our children, and our children's children, and... Oh, the humanity. The humanity! My big gun! is out of bullets. I can't believe it. Better believe it, soldier. The only thing I believe is I need another gun. No guns here. Teleporter pad. I'm gone. All right then. I'm all about that plasma rifle. And baby, it's all about me. Sweet Christmas. Big mouth floating thingies. It's always something. Ooh, I like it. The sugar sweet kiss of heavy ordnance. Aha, I'm cooking with plasma. Now we're in the big leagues. Wow, now I'm in a completely different place. More stupid radioactive waste. And with my luck, some creatures probably. A specter, invisible son of a... Stinking specter, gonna get what you deserve. I have blown up everything in here. Blow up that specter real good. I have really had just about all I can take. Hail to the chief. There, the most beautiful sight any soldier can behold. The gun. The big gun. You want a piece of me? Come on. Come on. Come at me with it. Oh yeah. Do you get it now? Papa's got a brand new bag. Death surrounds me, yet, in my head, I hear something that sounds like angels. I have found the holy grail of firepower. My eyes can but weep as they bear witness to the majesty, the BFG 9000. As I stride knee-deep through the dead, all is clear. I know what must be done. My cause is just. My will is strong. And... My gun is very, very large. Seconds later, the Doom Marine encounters the Cyberdemon one more time. But this time, the outcome should be different. Let loose your volley of death, Cyberdemon. You struggle in vain. Righteousness and superior firepower has triumphed. The filthy beast is no more. Victory is mine. Yet, Earth remains besieged by creatures unspeakably foul. It will take a strong man to bring the light of freedom back to this planet. A strong man with the biggest, baddest gun in the world. Amen to that. The end. The comic book story was actually pretty funny and I liked it. We got to see a few demons and weapons from the game. But did you like the comic book story? Tell me in the comment section. Next up, let's look at some history related to the comic book. Some sources online say that there were two separate printings of the comic book, the original for a giveaway, and years later, it was reprinted for the id anthology, which is basically a package full of other items. Like four CDs, which included 19 games before Doom 3. This includes Quake, Wolfenstein 3D, Rescue Rover, Soldax, all the games in the Commander Keen series, all the classic Doom games, and a few others. You could say it was the games that id Software was heavily involved with, which is why games like Heretic and Hexen were not included in this bundle, since those were titles developed by Raven Software. Amongst these items, you would also find a black t-shirt with the id Anthology logo, two separate dog tags, an id Anthology phone card, a miniature of the Cyberdemon, a poster, a short book about the history of id Software called The Book of Id, and also the Doom comic book. A few websites also listed that there were two versions of the anthology collection, 
the later one having an updated version of the TNT and Plutonia WAD files with just a few bug fixes. There's a few differences between the original and the reprint version of the comic book. The original comic had advertisements for Hexen on the inside cover and Final Doom for PlayStation on the back cover, but the Ed Anthology reprint changed the ads around for other PC games from their Windows 95 versions. The other difference between the two versions is the contrast level of the colors, and the font on the warning and issue number are slightly changed. In the original version, only the issue number is in italic, which means it's slanted, but the warning up top is normal. But in the reprint version, the issue number font is normal, but the warning up top is in italic. Italic font is just slanted or leaning on an angle. Some lines from the comic book were then used for achievement names in the Xbox versions of Doom 2. Here's a few that I found that are linked to each other. The achievement, A Man and a Half, was taken from the first page of the comic, where the Doom Marine is using his Berserker pack to take out some demons. The achievement called, An Important Looking Door, is a line taken from page 2 of the comic book, then shortly after, he kicks through it. The next one is Rip and Tear. It's taken from page 3 of the comic book, when the Doom Marine meets the Cyber Demon. The line Rip and Tear would later become a popular meme within the Doom community. This other achievement, You Have Huge Guts, is said by the Doom Marine right before he attacks the Cyber Demon, and the requirement for this achievement is to defeat a Cyber Demon with your fists in single player. When the Berserker pack wears off, he changes his plan, and this next achievement is linked to when he says, I do need a gun. I need a big gun. I need a really big gun. On page 4 of the comic book, the Doom Marine searches for guns, but the only available ones are from zombies. He picks up a chainsaw and says this, Ah, chainsaw, the great communicator. He then uses the chainsaw on some zombies, Part of this line was used in another achievement. If we look at page 7 in the comic book, our hero gets a hold of the chain gun and he says this, Hoy hoy, I'm the boy, packing 80 pounds of heavenly joy. This line also appears as an achievement name. After defeating an imp with the chain gun, the Doom Marine says, Oh yeah, yeah, dig the prowess, the capacity for violence. I'm the man, I'm super bad. The last two words, I'm super bad, were used for another achievement name. At the bottom of page 9, he fires off his chain gun while saying this, Woo baby, I'm burning out of control. The last four words appear as another achievement name. On page 10, a demon catches him off guard and tackles the Doom Marine before he can retaliate. As they fall together, he says this line, Bad, bad monster. Both of them fall into a pool of radioactive waste. When he pulls himself out of that area, the Doom Marine mentions the waste affecting him by saying this, Now, I'm radioactive. That can't be good. After he acquires the BFG-9000, he goes back to search for the Cyber Demon, and on the last page of the comic book, he uses it and wins, but also follows up with this line, Righteousness and superior firepower has triumphed. The filthy beast is no more. Part of this line was used for another achievement name, but the requirements were different depending on the version of the game you had. While the cover does say number one, you would think they might have more issues after this, but all the sources I read online say that this was a one-time story, so that covers the story of the Doom comic book and some history behind it. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like on it. To see more content like this, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Thanks for watching. My name is Acid Glow, and I'll see you next time. Hmm, that's one doomed space marine.